Hi friends, today I am reviewing a pen from an Indian pen maker, Airmail, with a completely different makeover uh, of the heart of the engine by a young gentleman from Siahi, Mr. Sanesha. Uh, Airmail company was founded way back in early 1950s and turned out uh, quite popular pens for the Indian market. The pen initially sported a number 5 steel nib. Um, what has been done by the new seller is that uh, the nib has been switched from a number 5 to a number 6 Siahi nib that has completely changed the character of this pen and about that uh, we will come to soon. Um, Airmail pen is labeled 71 JT. This is this model is 71 JT uh, because of uh, the jumbo size J and transparent model demonstrator T. Mind you this is an eyedropper pen only. Uh, the pen is made up of clear acrylic, uh, plastic cap and plastic section. So the pen, I'm not very sure how it landed with me uh, in the in uh, as regards the packaging, but I I think it was a very simple uh, wrap, uh, and uh, it was sent to be my uh, sent to me by uh, India Post. So uh, uh, just a word on the outside, the acrylic barrel may seem to be light weighted material, but you would immediately feel the difference on holding the pen. It's a dense material, and uh, quite a bit of heft to it and uh, it has a good decent weight which gives a good robust feeling to the pen okay so let's come to the parts um, the cap of the pen is made up of different color of plastics and there are multitude of colors available uh, with uh, multiple color tones seen like a wavy pattern on this so i also have one more clone of this there are some basic, uh, minimum differences between them so this is another clone uh, with that different VV pattern on that. Uh, this may not look very elegant to many and uh, it also give, uh, sometimes gives the feel that even the barrel is pretty light weighted uh, but that is not the case. So the finial has a conical uh, shape this uh, you can see and this part uh, has uh, to, uh, the clip attached to it and the clip is uh, has a small uh, has a ribbed pattern on that and uh, it is very stiff uh, on the cap what distinctly stand out, uh, stands out is, is a very broad band um, on the lower part it has lines and at the bottom you can see uh, written a manufactured by airmail pen company um, in a kind of a retro style the cap screws by one and a half turns and then you see a slightly tapering uh, writing section which is kind of a decent length, which has a decent length to it and uh, it has slight flaring at the lower bottom. This pen has a, a number 6 Siahi steel nib which is two-toned and it's got a very beautiful Siahi logo there and uh, this one is a broad nib. So let me also introduce you to a number 6 titanium nib again from the house of Siahi this one is unmarked as you can see there is no etching nothing no branding on this and this is a medium tipping the pens are uh, similar um, in otherwise the dimension but there is there is a very tiny difference now here one of the difference is that this pen unscrews by just about two turns and what you also have is a different inscription on the barrel otherwise this barrel has lot of threads on this and uh, it also has a small o-ring at the bottom which would prevent leakage there you see this i won't open it it's been greased also and uh, um, i found that this barrel stained slightly with one of the diamond inks which i'd used but i think that can be sorted out uh, by ultrasonic cleaning uh, the inner reservoir has been carved out just about an inch short of the bottom which is rounded and uh, this bottom uh, has kind of a glass appearance because uh, because this has not been uh, cut out for the reservoir if you look closely uh, you would also see um, here there you see airmail registered written on this in a kind of a, a retro fashion and the difference between these two pens is that this has volity 
Mobility and Airmail are interchangeable brands of the same company, Airmail Pen Company, and there is otherwise no difference between these two. Uh, they open with slightly different terms. So, is it a quality control issue, or actually that is the difference between these two uh, brothers? I'm really not sure. Uh, this pen has been kindly lent to me by Mr. Pradeep from Mumbai, who has kindly allowed me to review the titanium nib alongside the steel nib. So, size comparison with a normal usual pen in your basket. This is a Lamy Safari and there you see an airmail. How does it measure? I've got a very, this is a dirty scale my kids know. So, there you see that the length of the pen is 15 centimeters and this is how it sits uncapped, just about 14 centimeters. Held in hand, the pen is, uh, it's, a, it's got a decent weight to it. And as I said, the barrel is not light weighted at all. The length of the pen is very good. It can be held unposted for comfortable writing. It does post very well, but then it makes the length very it makes it very lengthy, very long. I'm so sorry. It very, makes it very long and then it makes it top heavy as well because the center of gravity I find is shifted. So uh, now we before I come to the writing experience, uh, uh, I would uh, just mention what are the qualities of the pen which I really loved. Um, it's a good size pen with transparent barrel and you can see the ink, ink sloshing around and you can see the ink levels. The weight of the material is good and it feels good to hold. But the part which I like most about this is that in this eyedropper mode there are very few pens which have not uh, which have not burped on me. Most of them have actually. Uh, this has uh, really stood uh, the test and it, it didn't really burp even with even with low levels of ink. So you, you would know that a pen would burp because the air expands and pushes the ink out of the field. And uh, this has uh, uh, really held its ground. This and probably Franklin Christoph are the only two pens in my collection which I've in the eyedropper mode which I found not to burp. Uh, the cost of the pen is uh, about 1350 um, uh, Indian rupees. So I find it uh, very affordable. It is uh, rough and tough to use and uh, expectedly so it would be a long companion in your collection so how to buy and uh, what is the writing experience we'll just come to that in a jiffy so i'm starting off with the siahi steel nib this is a airmail 71 jt with a The ink is colorverse, gravity weight, which is one of my favorite inks. And this is a very cheap photocopier paper. The reason I am using this is because the difference between the two nibs can be felt best on a regular, a usual writing paper. If you use a, a Tomo River. Uh, paper i've got it alongside i'll just scribble a few lines on that as well you would not find much of difference between the two nibs because it will be smooth on both This Siahi nib uh, writes with a very uh, very little hint of feedback. It is a exuberantly wet nib and each nib has been individually tuned uh, by Mr. Sane uh, as he says that the main reason why it takes him uh, sometimes uh, a bit of time to adhere to his commitments for delivery is because he has to check each and every nib personally. And since he is uh, probably also dealing with a couple of more companies um, um, as a retailer, so uh, uh, sometimes the orders uh, uh, get on a backlog. But 
uh, i received this pen i think within a week of placing the order um the pen uh, uh, this nibs this one is a broad nib and uh, the steel nibs are available um uh, for uh, fine medium broad then they have a fine uh, flex and uh, and they have a fine uh, full flex what they call is and this one is a fine semi flex um now um this is a very stiff nib it doesn't have a lot of give to it um in the in the man uh, the character of uh, smoothness i would place it somewhere between a bok and a yovo it's slightly more feedback than a yovo but still uh, happens to be a smooth nib it is stiff it is stiff like a schmidt and does not give way this one and uh, titanium how oh, well that is a slightly different story um again the titanium nibs are also a wet writer they have a feedback which is uh, more noticeable than that of a yovo nib so if the paper is relatively smooth um i would like to prefer a uh, a titanium nib because i would want to have uh, a slight feel of the paper while i'm writing but on a regular uh, regular uh, photocopier like paper or even a slightly rougher than this texture i think uh, this tends to border between uh, feedbacky and scratchy so there uh, these nibs are more preferable so you can have your choice regarding uh, regarding the kind of work you entail uh, for writing and the resources available to you uh, in the form of papers you can make a choice as per that uh, but if we are using a uh, tomorrow river this one is a endless recorder the nib uh, again because it's medium so i would have a uh, slight hint uh, feedback more than this um, again it offers very little feedback on a ultra smooth paper flexibility i didn't really demonstrate so compared to a titanium nib you can expect a bit of flexibility uh, compared to a steel nib you can expect a bit of flexibility it did give me a bit of skips on fast lines and uh, just a couple of hard starts but i think sometimes they dries up uh, on keeping the cap open for long but then you did see a bit of skips in between uh, this i found it with this uh, titanium nib overall uh, the pen is very nice the attributes of the pen i mentioned uh, previously um, what i didn't mention was how to get the pen so you have to contact the seller Mr Sanay Shah directly and he is available at his mobile number which i would mention in the description below because this pen is currently not available through any of the online retail outlets or brick and mortar stores so i hope you like this video and i would see you next day